Hi there, Natalie with you today with a new fun project on how you can customize your notepad covers using new products. This is a simple idea to make even the smallest of pads beautiful. So come join me. Hi there and welcome to today's project. Today I want to give you a fun idea and it's really quick and simple on how you can customize your covers for your notepads and I'm sure you all have notepads. I have a few, some in my purse, some on my desk and I really don't like keeping them clear. I like keeping a cover on them especially if I have it on my purse because it just gets scratchy. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use the Wildflower collection to create covers for my uh, notepads. So I'm going to start by picking just some papers. I want to have something that is decorative uh, on the outside but kind of simple on the inside just because I'm going to have the notepad inside so I'm choosing two papers the stripey one is called wildflower um, field and the second one the one that has that watercolor look is called everyday so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut strips that are 12 inches on width but they are the same width as my notepad so the biggest notepad that I'm using is three and a half inches and they're square so I'm cutting a three and a half inches by 12 inch strip of the one paper and the second one is three inch is a three inch square notepad so I'm going to cut a three inch by 12 inch strip once I have them ready, I'm going to literally just going to create flaps that are going to cover my notepad. So I'm slowly going to play with my notepads until I have enough of paper to fold and cover around three quarters of the notepad. Once I have that, I'm going to use my scoring board and just going to score um, the first flap. I'm going to say at three quarters of the yeah, the flap is going to go three quarters into the notepad but because i have the width of the notepad to be careful with i'm going to make sure to measure that and my the one and a half years run a half an inch but they're different widths so just be, be mindful of that so i'm gonna i'm gonna in my case i'm i'm adding another fold or another crease at around half an inch after the first flap then i'm gonna have the width of the uh, notepad again three and a half inches and then i'm gonna have another two uh, scoring lines that are gonna give me the second flap taking uh, care of the width and then i'm gonna leave the cover the flap that goes on top i'm gonna leave it long because i want to add some decorations to it so I have not creased it properly. I just created the folders. I have increased them just slightly so I know that I have the right measurements. And you're gonna see that all my flaps are really flush against my notepads. So now I wanna add a decorative edge onto my notepads. For this, I'm using the Creative Edgers Scallop Scallop Die Set. And you're gonna see that I am gonna make sure that the top flap is the one that is gonna get that edge. I wanna make sure that, you're gonna see I use two different designs but for the first one I'm making sure that my flap the top one sits around at three quarters from the top of my notepad so I'm just gonna place the first piece of the decorative um, edger and that's the one that has the creates the scallop and I'm gonna cut it on my die cutting machine I'm using a wide format just so it makes it easier for me to do it in one pass and then once I have my first um, my scallop edge i'm gonna come with the dotted one that has the same design i have to make sure that i place it so that the scallop matches once i have that i'm gonna pass it to my die cutting machine and that is all it's gonna take for the flap so i'm gonna do the same one for the second one i'm gonna show you the first one but because this one is a wider one and i really want to add a more detail inside i'm actually going to repeat the scallop edge to the inside flap but i'm just going to keep the scallop edge i'm not going to add it i'm not going to add the dotted design so once i have that ready i'm going to bring them out um you know have them ready i'm going to go ahead and use my bone folder just to crease completely the edges that's going to give me those straight nice crisp edges that are going to cover my notepad and you're going to see i have think of it as little much uh, much boxes that's the best way to put it that open up so now we're going to go into building this um simple like i said very simple notepad um covers the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and cut a double-sided adhesive paper from mounting you just to the size of my notepad and i'm going to attach it to the back of the notepad so that i can stick it 
right on the center of my strip so that's going to keep the cover to um, together to the notepad and once I have that the way you can go ahead and create the flap to make sure it doesn't move there's different ways you can add a magnet you can add uh, some uh, velcro I like to use um, removable tape it just makes it easier for me to move in and out and um, once I have that, you know, you're going to see that I added a few strips of uh, removable tape. I'm going to go ahead and decorate my flaps. I am using the Bitty Bits Ephemera from the Wildflower Collection to decorate my smaller flap. And then I'm going to bring a little sentiment from the gold stamp set. I'm going to stamp it with obsidian black ink on a little piece of white cardstock. When I attach my ephemera, I make sure that I just glue the top part of the ephemera to the top flap so that the bottom is kind of on the air and then I'm going to add a little piece of the dimensional uh, foam adhesive tape right behind the sentiment so that it gives it some lift and I'm able to lift it up and down easily. I'm going to add some enamel dots just to you know make it a little bit more um, cute and nice. Now for the second one, just because I have this bigger canvas to work with, my notepad is a little bit bigger. Whenever I work a project, especially when I create um, with the craft a flower um, die sets, I usually create extra florals. So I'm going to use two of those. Uh, this is from the Sisters uh, Craft a Flower, just to add that little cluster on top of my lay of my little uh, cover. The the leaves you're going to see are from the enjoy the ride bouquet builder ephemera and the sentiment that i'm adding is actually from the mini delights posy um stamp set and all i'm doing is just adding a little bit of foam adhesive behind it just to give it some lift and then just to finish i'm gonna add some enamel dots that match the colors of the um the florals that's about it I love how this turned out actually I do this to most of my notepads they just look nicer on top of my desk and I hope you try it as always if you have any questions do not hesitate to contact me jump onto the blog to see more details on how this came together don't forget to subscribe to the channel there's always lots of content that you're gonna enjoy thank you so much for joining me today take care guys hello crafters I hope you enjoyed that video if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything. Thanks for watching.